Hey, it's a blessed R N, and we're going to be solving a milliliter per hour weight based problem using dimensional analysis with our puzzle pieces. A physician orders the butamine 5 micrograms per kilogram per minute for a patient weighing 80 kgs. The pharmacy sends the butamine 250 mg's and 250 ml of normal saline. What are we going to set the IV pump as milliliter per hour? So, the goal is milliliter per hour. That's the first thing that you do in all of your problems. You read the problem in its entirety and you find out what exactly is this question asking me. Since this is a weight-based problem, we need the three Ps, the weight, the prescription, and the product. So the patient's weight is 80 kilograms. Our prescribed amount is five micrograms per kilogram per minute. And then the concentration of the product or the medicine is 250 milligrams per 250 mls so the goal tells us that we need milliliter on the top that's what we're going to start with always start with what you're looking for you won't have to go and find it so this puzzle piece has milliliters in it and i'm going to flip it so that it's first and on top so 250 milliliters over 250 milligrams so next, we need to get rid of the milligrams because they aren't a part of the goal. But our other puzzle piece does not have milligrams in it. It has micrograms. So therefore, we will have to use a metric conversion in order to cancel out our milligrams because that's what needs to come next to be canceled out. So I'll put my milligrams on the top, micrograms on the bottom. One milligram equals 1000 micrograms. So now I can cancel out those units. Next, we can put our five micrograms per kilogram per minute so that we can cancel out our micrograms. Again, they are not a part of the goal, so they must be canceled out. So five micrograms on the top, kilograms and minutes on the bottom, and we'll cancel out those micrograms. Now we have kgs and minutes. We have a puzzle piece with kgs in it. So we'll simply put that on top to cancel out our kilograms. So 80 kilograms over one. It's by itself. So I just simply put it over one. It's a placeholder to show you that it's going to be in the numerator. So now what's left is minute at the bottom, but we need hour according to our goal. So we'll do 60 minutes over one hour and our minutes crosses out and we are left with the goal. So milliliters at the top, hours is at the bottom, and we can do the math, okay? So we'll do 250 times five times 80 times 60, and that's gonna be six million. And then we'll do the same for the bottom. You multiply 250 times 1,000. The ones that are the coefficients in front of those other units, I don't even bother because they don't make a difference. But if you want to, you can. So 250,000. So now we'll divide the numerator by the denominator and that will give us our answer. 24 milliliters per hour. Don't forget to round if necessary and label. For more breakdown on how you can simply do dimensional analysis, like and subscribe.